extremely specific would you rathers. I have found a TikTok account who seems like a funny guy who has come up with very specific would you rathers. We're just gonna start off stream and we're gonna play them together. I'll do a vote for each one. You tell me what you would rather and I'm gonna tell you my thought process and we'll see if we match up. And let's just jump into it. Let's play would you rather, huh? Extremely specific would you rather. Cause I think these would you rathers are like sometimes two minutes long. <laughs> First one. Would you rather have one of your ankles broken every year on January 2nd? It's not January 1st, so you can celebrate the new year. The method is a broken fibula by a 16 ounce anvil black rubber head mallet bought fresh from Home Depot in the morning. And it's wielded by a male arborist, which is like a lumberjack okay, from I'm Rhode glad Island. you clarified because I was going to ask what an arborist was. Okay. A random guy that's selected. It's not the same one. So the we're going to call him the lumberjack. The lumberjack hits you in the fibula until the bone breaks. In the right. case that the mallet snaps before the bone breaks, the lumberjack must use the broken pieces of the hammer to break your ankle. So like either the head of the mallet or uh, like the broken handle. So the stopping point is when the fibula is broken, but if there's collateral damage to the other bones or tendons, you must continue until the fibula breaks. And okay. the lumberjack watches a skeletal anatomy YouTube video. You have to remember this is every year too. This is every year on January 2nd. Or on where the fibula is so he knows where to swing. And let's assume it's a semi-decent one, like 15 minutes long. As well as that, there is a doctor on duty to check whether the fibula is broken after each swing. Okay, and so we, we are verifying that the fibula will be broken on swing. So there's no chance of this not going through. You will have a broken fibula. They're familiar with the skeletal anatomy as well. Doctor can tell with 100% accuracy. The doctor cannot help or fix you. I and wouldn't each year so. you pick what ankle you want it done to, but okay. it's suggested that you alternate by year. And the healing time for broken same. fibula is six weeks to three months, That's but good will slowly increase with age and scar tissue development. Okay. And this is done in the middle of an open field and your car is half a mile away after the break. Break. So you have to walk oh, or crawl half wow, a mile to the things. car and you cannot use a ride service to get imagine. to your car. So all of that or have red hair. Uh, you okay. Gotcha. Okay. Or have red hair. All right. I'm going to put the vote up now and that poll is live. Go. So one for the broken fibula every year and all the other stuff. And then two for having red hair. Okay, a lot of you guys are saying you would rather have red hair off rip. Maybe you guys didn't hear the caveats, or maybe you did hear the caveats, and that's why you're going red hair. I see. You, okay, you would all have rather have red hair. I'm with you on this one, and not because I don't want to say something mean about ginger people. I'm with you on this one. I don't want two broken ankles every year. That's not great. I don't want that. I have red hair, and I broke my fibula last year. Okay, well, then you are just dead in the water regardless. Okay, we'll take the red hair. I wish maybe there was extreme specifics on the red hair one, too because I feel like we got a lot about the whole ankle snapping. All right, let's see if they're all like this. I started watching a little bit of it. I now understand that the punchline of the video is the second option is very short. For some reason, I didn't think that's what it was gonna be when I first watched it. I thought it was gonna be two very long scenarios. So if they're all like that, then this might be a short segment. Let's see. Would you rather build a Boeing 747 alone and you have all the instruction manuals, you're provided housing, but you have to make your own food and you get a $20 Chipotle stipend per week, but delivery takes an hour and a half. So the Chipotle is soggy and cold once it gets to you. Other than that, actually building the plane, you can call the help support line if you get stuck and the instruction manuals don't work Monday to Thursday during regular business hours. Nine okay, so we have to build a plane. Got five, it. Five or Friday, nine to three, but you're put on hold for at least 30 minutes at a time. You're given all the equipment. And when you're building the plane, it's not like you're putting all the screws in and shit. Like you have like all the big pieces put together, but you have to basically slot the big pieces together to make the plane functional. I don't know if I said this, but you get five years to do the plane no, you didn't or say that. you die. And the plane oh. has to be able to work. Like it has to be up to the industry standard of. Now that's a tough one already. Can I even build a plane in five years or? Or I die. Or you have a death match with a silverback gorilla. You get Oh, okay. Oh, now I'm kind of excited. All right. I wasn't wrong. <laughs> this is what I wanted. Two. Two. Two specific situations. Now I'm locked in. That's all I wanted. Two specific situations. Build a Boeing in five years time where you die and all the other stuff about the customer service and the soggy Chipotle. 
Or you have to fight a silverback gorilla, and here we go. You have a death match with a silverback gorilla. You get to choose the arena. So if you want to fight in like the desert, because you think like a silverback gorilla would get dehydrated in the desert more quickly than you. So your choice of environment, and you can pick one weapon out of these three. A bow and arrow. Dead. Uh, what caveat can you put on the bow and arrow that's gonna make it so I even have a chance? <laughs> you could have said bow and arrow and you get unlimited arrows. I'm dead. Arrows, and it's like the practice bow and arrows where it's like- <laughs> Why are you making my bow and arrow worse? Blunt tip, which could definitely like penetrate skin. The thing is you'd have to be accurate and you'd have to be able to pull the bow back very far to really cause any damage. The second one is a seven foot spear. With the spear, you could like- Okay, yeah, don't even give me the practice arrows as an option. I'm taking the spear over the practice. Okay. Throw it or something. We're assuming okay. that the gorilla doesn't know how to use a spear in this situation. The third option is to get a gun, but you get no bullets. And basically, you have to search for the bullets. The bullets are hidden around the <laughs> arena. So if you're in like the desert, they'd be like hidden in the sand. And say, say there are a hundred bullets hidden in the sand and say it's like a coliseum type arena. Sure, let's say. So basically, bow and arrow, seven foot spear, bow and or out. handgun, but you have to find the bullets in the sand that or would you rather build the boeing 737 for five years or die in that situation this one's a little bit more intense than the last one build the 737 five years time soggage pole leg customer service is going to help you build it but they're only available some days of the week certain hours five years you die or the silverback gorilla death match with various different weapon options. And I will give my opinion here. I'm going with Silverback Gorilla, and I'm not sure exactly why yet. I think my opinion here is based on the fact that he said I can pick the location of the battle. I think there's gotta be some location I can pick where I have an immediate advantage. He said desert, but what if we said underwater? We would both just drown. <laughs> Put us underwater, I got a spear. Maybe I choose a spear underwater underwater or some kind of environment, maybe the Arctic. Obviously, depending on the scenario, you pick spear or you do gun and try to find those bullets. Okay, you guys, by a slim margin, agree with me. We're taking on the Silverback Gorilla. I'm happy you guys are fucking warriors in chat. The rest of you, fucking nerds, working on your 737 Boeings for five years, have fun with that. Either I go out cool style by Silverback Gorilla or I have the best story of all time. Okay, all right, we'll move on from that one. Let's do another. Would you rather chain smoke two cartons of Marlboro Reds in a bathroom Room, given that you must smoke each one to the orange filter. You can only smoke two at a time. You're supplied with three standard 4.5 gram Bic butane lighters, and after they burn out, you must use- I would love if after this entire long hypothetical, the second one is just again, or would you rather fight a silverback gorilla in a death match? And after they burn out, you must use flint and after steel to light burn them, out. and the flint and steel is unlimited. A Bic lighter, as described, stays lit for about 55 minutes. I mean, just seeing the ramblings of this fucking maniac. He's got this all written down in a journal. All giving right. you two hours and 45 minutes of That's light time. It takes about four to five minutes on average to smoke a marble or a red, according okay. to the first link on Google. And you Thanks. are relegated to a 35 square foot full bathroom. There is ventilation, but you aren't allowed to open the window or tamper with the ventilation to overpower it in any way. The heat in the bathroom is set to 72 degrees Fahrenheit, but will likely rise as you continue smoking. You're uh, given yeah, a single one liter Dasani to drink while smoking. Ooh. And if you run out, you must drink toilet water. Since oh, that's a big caveat. But judging on by how much more we have left, there could be bigger ones. The sink and shower both broke last week and you haven't gotten fixed yet because your landlord company is slow with maintenance. So you can assume the toilet- That's not even part of the hypothetical. That's just real. Cleaned two days ago, but has had regular use since that. You can flush to get new water as much as you want, but you cannot drink from the water tank above the toilet as it will That'd be, be fastened to the toilet. You must dispose of your cigarettes in the sink and you have to clean the sink and deal with the plumbing repercussions of you throwing cigarettes in the sink after you finish. I mean, I'm not really worried about the plumbing repercussion. I'm just trying to get out of this hellish nightmare scenario in the bathroom. You think I'm worried about the plumbing of the sink after? Or inflict paper cuts on each of your fingertips from top to bottom and soak them in a bowl of 99% isopropyl. You don't have to keep going. 
I'm taking the first one. I'm taking the first one easy. And soak yeah, them in no. a bowl of 99% isopropyl alcohol for four minutes. You use Habri Mule Photo Rag Barta 315 grams per square meter squared, 100% cotton paper to cut your fingers. So expect larger and deeper cuts than a regular. I know I named this segment extremely specific hypotheticals. I didn't know how specific this was going to get. That's a lot. That's very specific. You can not attempt to stop the bleeding before you cut all of your fingers. And it's recommended that you have a healthy breakfast so you don't pass out from the blood okay. loss. And Thanks. after you soak your fingers, you can bandage them in any manner you choose, but you must buy the items on your own. You get one person to help you treat the wounds, but you must stop the bleeding yourself. The alcohol sits in a blue plastic 37 ounce bowl. The bowl and alcohol are provided. And this is just one of those bowls from Target, the really cheap ones like less than a dollar. If you drink the blood soaked alcohol, you are rewarded with an all expenses paid trip to Cancun in which you will oh, stay great. in the Evo star selection in the presidential suite for seven days. And you're allowed a plus one for the trip. Oh, wow. Things Would you change. rather? That maybe changes things. All right. I put the poll in chat. Two cartons of Marlboro. You have to chain smoke them. You got the Dasani water bottle, just one, and then toilet, so you have to drink toilet water for the rest. And the second one, you got to do paper cuts for each of your fingers. Soak them in alcohol. Me. Oh, I guess we take number two. That free trip would be amazing. <laughs> I really want to go to Cancun. I mean, I'm going to be fucking like this the whole time, but yeah, I would enjoy a Cancun trip. And I think you guys agree. Overwhelmingly, we're taking paper cuts. I think I would take the paper cuts. Yeah, even without the free trip to Cancun. Okay, we got some more. Here we go. Lay it on me, Colin. What do we got? Would you rather complete a PhD in physics from Ohio State University in condensed matter? Given that you're fully funded for 10 years, you can start from the very beginning, like basic math, physics, and statistics if you need to. You must go into high temperature superconducting, which is basically when thing gets Sounds hot. Hard. And you must work on the theoretical side of physics instead of the experimental side, which basically means you do want you math. guys can't you say no or pass yet you have no idea what the alternative is you, the other side of this could be being ginger you have no fucking idea so don't, don't, don't say it yet you got no idea what the other side is you so pick chill. your advisor but you may not get your first choice and if you don't you must complete one marathon or two half marathons to stay in the program to show your dedication and you're not Wait, allowed what? To, you pick your advisor but you may not get your first choice and if you don't you must complete one marathon or two if half you, marathons to stay in the program to show your dedication and okay. you're not allowed to speak until you finish your degree you either have to learn sign That's language <laughs> or carry a whiteboard around with you to communicate with other students professors just general people that you interact with in life if right. you're unable to complete the degree within the 10 years you're given you are bound in a straight jacket and blindfolded and set out to sea in a life raft and the sea is the nearest coast to you that is salt water brackish not allowed in the boat sure. there is a large knife in which you are okay Whoa, all right, try to keep track of this one's crazy. Okay, so we are to finish a PhD at Ohio State University in 10 years' time. We cannot speak. We can use a whiteboard to communicate. You have a first choice of advisor. If you don't get it, then you have to run a marathon to show your dedication to the study. That probably won't happen. Just fuck it, pick your second pick. Now, if you don't complete it in 10 years' time, you're going to be sent to see in straight jacket. Okay to cut yourself out of the jacket, assuming you can find the knife in the boat. It's just randomly scattered somewhere in there. There's a month's worth of mountain house beef stroganoff with noodles. None of this really matters to me because I think I'm getting this PhD done in 10 years. Use How are you going to defend your dissertation if you can't speak? <laughs> they will provide accommodation. Someone said it before, mute people exist and they have gotten their PhDs. To jump out and swim or stay on the boat, but any military or civilian boat cannot pick you up. You must survive by finding land. Be diagnosed with necrotizing fasciitis, otherwise known as a flesh-eating bacterial infection. Symptoms include fever, swelling, hardening of, of the skin, formation of large blisters, internal skin bleeding, reduced sensation on the skin, and if it gets bad enough, shock and maybe death. The death risk is usually between 25 and 35 percent, but assume this is an unknown variant, and thus the chance of death is between 60 and 80 percent. And the <laughs> only way to an cure it is to travel by foot from the the New Delhi Railway Station Parcel Office at the Ajmeri Gate, New Delhi, to the Key Monastery, which is located in the Himalayas at an altitude of 4,000 meters, or about 13,000 feet in American. And at the top, there lies okay. here in a small glass vial in which you inject yourself with. You buy all of your own equipment and food, but you must
must carry it the whole way on your back. You must sleep outside. You are given 11 days no, to complete I, I this, lost and the I walk would him. take about. And if you don't make it, you are sent to a Indian prison until you succumb to the disease or make a prison break, given that you aren't dead via the disease. All right. Hey, good luck with this one, guys. The poll is going up. Would you rather? You remember it, right? You remember it. You know the, the thing. You got it. My cousin Blake said, necrotizing fasciolitis, if caught early, is not usually fatal, and usually the wound can be saved. Okay, my cousin is a nurse. He says he, he treats this wound a lot. But you didn't hear, Blake. It's an unknown variant with death percentage rates of like 60 to 80%. Can we still get this cured? Because he's making me lean towards the second one, possibly, if, if my cousin can cure this for me. This isn't for you guys, though. I know a guy. You guys are fucked, so I get why you guys are picking the first one. You guys don't have the connection I got, so I get that. I'm trusting my cousin. I'm going with two. Yeah, have fun getting a PhD while you can't talk. Good one. I don't even know if that was a good one. That was a long fucking, that was too long. That was too long. Make it a little bit, just a little bit more general. Next one, Colin. Would you rather compete in the boxing match with the Boston Dynamics Road robot named Atlas <laughs> given I love that start that's a great start nears are given two calendar years to train and program the robot you train six days a week with Floyd Mayweather senior for those two years and you're his sole pupil so you get his full attention the gym you go to is the Mayweather boxing club in Vegas you know as we get more into this the trick is trying to discern like which details he's giving you that are actually important I don't care what gym we're working out at. You must cook for yourself. In the fight, you use eight ounce gloves, but for practice, you use 16 ounce gloves. Boston Dynamics has its lead engineer control the Atlas for the fight. And before that, he sent to boxing classes for eight months to learn combinations and technique and that sort of thing. So he'll know how to control the robot to box, maybe not as well as you, after two years with Floyd Mayweather. He uses a PS3 <laughs> controller to control the robot in the fight. Oh, we're taking Taking the robot, all right? That's not the robot having like fast reflexes. It's a guy controlling it with a PS3 remote. Yeah, I'm I'm taking the robot. You win, you get $2 million, and we one win, of we which will million. go to your training team. If it's a draw, you get one mil, and the team gets 500K. And if okay. you lose, you win 500K, but only 100K goes to you, 400 goes to Still. your team. And the fight okay. takes place at the MGM Grand, so about 17,000 spectators. You Good can audience. take any steroids you want to prepare as you will be fighting a metal object. Morgan Thank Freeman you. is in your corner to say inspiring quotes to you before and after needed. the rounds. And the fight will be 12 two-minute rounds. Okay, first one sounds pretty good. It doesn't even sound like I'm going to die. <laughs> and then right off the bat, I'm going to fall down a flight. Okay, I think we're taking one, but let's see. Or jump off a flight of stairs once a week for two months. So say the staircase is 10 feet tall and carpeted hardwood, the olefin texture, which is similar to like elementary school carpet or carpets you typically see in schools. How far are we jump? The staircase is 10 by 10 with 14 steps. So each is about eight inches tall and eight inches long. You wear Nike Air Max Scorpions to break your fall. You wear Jim Reaper seven millimeter knee sleeves that are fitted to you on your knees to try to prevent you from breaking your knees. You're allowed three months to prepare specifically for this task of jumping off the stairs. How the fuck do you prepare for that? You jump off a higher step every... I don't think you can prepare for that. And for each to jump, you have to drive yourself to the hospital if necessary. And you do the jumps in a randomly selected apartment complex in your area. So the residents start to notice the pattern and then try to stop you after a while. This happens at 10 p.m. every Hold month. Hold on, wait, am I being an idiot? Are some people saying this is easy? 14 steps? That's too high. Your medical bills are paid for by the Rothschilds and they throw in a stem cell treatment for five years after. And you also get to attend one of their eyes wide shut parties once this is over. I'm in. Would you rather box a robot for two years? You got two years time to train. Everyone wins money, win, lose, whatever. And you can actually get to a hospital or jump off the stairs eight times in two months, 10 feet. You have to drag yourself to the hospital should there be an issue. We're still taking robot. Okay, you guys were psyching me out. Some people in chat were acting like this jumping off the stairs stuff was easy. Nike Air Maxes. My young spry body. I think I have a change of heart. I think I'm jumping off the stairs. I think I'm going to jump off the stairs. Have fun with your fucking robot fight, idiots. Old Gunner is going for the stair jump.
All right, let's go to the next one. Here we go. Would you rather only eat raw eggs in Mountain Dew for one month? You cannot consume any other food or liquid. If it rains, you cannot open your mouth when you go outside. This has got to be a pretty convincing opposite one because that sounds awful. Drink a two liter of Mountain Dew per day and only two liters, no more, no less, two liters only. The flavor is decided by rolling a four-sided die, so a tetrahedron shape each day. So if it lands on one, you get a regular Mountain Dew. If it lands on two, you get a Code Red. If it lands on three, you get Live Wire. And four is Baja Blast. And the dice is not completely fair. There is a probability distribution, and it is as follows. 50% chance it'll go to regular. 20% probability that it'll go to Code Red. 20% it'll go to Live Wire. And 10% Baja Blast. And the number of eggs that you eat in that day is decided by rolling two fair six-sided die. And in the case that you roll a 12, you're given the choice of eating a plain breaded chicken sandwich from Chick-fil-A for that day. The egg brand is Oliver's Organic, which is based out of Frankfurt, New York. You must Fun eat fact. them by cracking them and putting them in a 6x4 Pyrex baking dish and tipping it into your mouth and swallowing. No chewing allowed. You have to just drink it straight. You can space out your meals any way you want to, but you must finish all the eggs. If you eat the shells of the eggs as well as the inside, you are given a 1 liter Dasani water bottle to drink in addition to your two liter Mountain oh, nice. Dew. And again, you he do always this for throws 30 days. the Dasani water bottle in there. It always makes its way in there at some point. And you roll the dice each day to determine your meal and drinking plan. Or okay, publicly or- urinate yourself at the DMV while renewing your license. You urinate yourself right when you walk in Done. the door and have to complete the whole renewal process easy. soaked with urine. So you wear our khaki bottoms. It's up to you fuck. what type you could wear, like I'm doing shorts that. or pants. But the khaki shorts so are funny. recommended, I'll do that and easily. they must be in your size. They can't be too small. They can't I'm be too bad. Myself. And the amount of urine that you piss on yourself is a full bladder's worth. Doesn't not matter. Just like some I'll be warm while I take my picture. You leave your house, and you also. Also ate asparagus the night before. I know it's gonna the smell terrible. smell is hanging in the air and love it. Make the and DMV when you suffer. have to pay for your license, the reader can't read the chip, so both <laughs> you and the worker get frustrated by the transaction. And oh, you're also sucks. wearing porous, open-toed shoes that soak up the urine. It's so right. when you I'm walk around, sucked. people will look at you while you slop. How could they not? The it it will also awful. be late in the afternoon, around 4 p.m. when you go in. So the workers are tired and pretty impatient by the time you get to them. And there are at cares. a minimum of two crying children at all time. Second one, easy. It's not because I love piss, all right? It's not because I have a piss kink. Yeah, I'm pissing myself at the DMV. <laughs> I'm easily pissing myself at the DMV, opposed to eating raw eggs and Mountain Dew for one month. Fuck that. You'll notice a theme with Gunner here, and it's usually whichever one is over faster, I'll fucking do it. Okay, I think I talked you into it, or maybe you guys already were going that way anyway, but we're pissing ourselves at the DMV. Next one, let's roll it. Would you rather run a marathon barefoot, given that you would not get any metal objects stuck in your feet? You have one week to train. You run 10 of the miles on asphalt, 15 through a wooded forest in the last 1.2 right? on a gravel road, and you must run it in six hours or less, which is like 13.43 a mile. You have on a Camelback Zephyr limited edition Edition vest with fusion <laughs> reservoir. Sci sock just put two. <laughs> Not even the vote being up. Yeah, I want the second one. It's 60 degrees Fahrenheit throughout the whole run with partial cloud cover. You wear a cotton t-shirt with anti-chafe nipple tape. You can rip the sleeves off and make it a wife beater if you choose. That's kind of up to personal preference. You have Brooks running men's Sherpa 5-inch 2-in-1 running bottoms, and underwear is up to your preference. People are also asking you why you don't have any shoes on the entire way, and also calling you brave in the way that you call parents with twins brave and not like <laughs> firefighter brave. You can't stop before the finish. You can only slow to a walk. And if you finish like in five that. hours or less, you are given a prize of a bowl of the best spaghetti you're ever going to have and to Ethereum, which is about $2,500 at the time of this writing. So it's that, or that be now. sexually attracted to only a 2012 Honda Accord for three and a half. I already am. Next question. And the model of the car is the EXL V6 model with oh, 
I dark know gray it. exterior and black leather interior with wood trim. I got pictures it has of it on my phone right now. Active noise cancellation in the cabin, heated seats, keyless entry, power front oh, seats, he's telescopic me steering steamy, column, just auto about headlights, it. and an auto dimming rear view mirror with at least oh. 30,000 miles on it. And your whole family knows of the change when it happens, but don't know when it goes away. So basically, they find out that you're sexually attracted to this Honda Accord, but they don't know when you stop being sexually attracted to it. So you have to explain to them like why the change happened and you can no longer get turned on by any other human animal place thing or uh, otherwise kind of piece of content. It would have been too easy. You get a nose huh? ring like the bullhorn nose ring to Seems symbolize unrelated. your attraction to this 2012 Honda Accord How does that and must wear it for all interactions with other humans. You must have intercourse with one of these cars on three <laughs> separate occasions. The orifice is up to you. Guy, why does he just say the, the main part first? <laughs> you have to fuck the car. Hill pipe and seat cushions are recommended and when the three and a half years are over you go back to your normal state of attraction and it's up to you whether you keep the nose ring or not uh yeah i'll put it to you guys first i think you kind of already know which way i'm leaning i am definitely not doing the barefoot marathon so yeah i'm taking that honda to pound town i'm fucking that honda i'm putting my sex drive in four-wheel drive it's my mission to fuck that transmission anyways and you guys agree so sick how'd you guys like it fun segment good time Hey, stop. Stop you. You gotta buy merch. We've got new merch. This is the first time I've ever dropped merch in my life. You gotta go buy it. Look at this. Forest green with a white logo on it. It looks really cool. It feels really great. Watch this. It comes in cream too. Cream with a, with a brown with a brown logo. Maybe that's not good for you. Maybe you don't want a hoodie. We got hats too. Black and green. They look really cool. Smaller versions of a the logo. They look dope. They got like something on the back that says don't try this at home. They look sick. Go buy yours today. www.gunnertv.com. Go now. Now, now, now. Go, go, go. Okay, now you can enjoy the outro.